Welcome to DBeaver's YouTube channel. In our previous video, we talked about two ways to use diagrams in DBeaver. But ERD can be used not only to view and navigate through data, but also to directly make changes to the database. We call the process of creating a database based on a pre-designed schema forward engineering in our app. There are two ways for it. Through properties in the data editor, through ERD, only for DBeaver Enterprise and Ultimate Editions. Today, we want to tell you about the second method. When you design a database schema using a diagram, you immediately see the impact of your changes on the tables and the relationships between them. In addition, you can quickly alter some metadata or even create new tables without opening the Properties tab. Open the diagram and click the Edit Mode button on the bottom toolbar. When you switch to this mode, you will see a black border around your diagram. If you want to edit some metadata in your table, you need to choose the desired column. In the Properties tab on the right side of the diagram window, you can change data types and other parameters. For your convenience, you can close this tab and then open it again using the corresponding button on the bottom toolbar. To change the column's name, select it with one left click and then click on it again, just like you do with folders on your hard drive. Enter a new text and press Enter or click anywhere else in the diagram window to apply the changes. The context menu provides great opportunities for editing your scheme. Using it, you can add or change metadata, the existing table, or create a new table with the necessary parameters. Let's take a look at adding new elements to a diagram using our old friend Lewis's problem as an example. In one of our previous articles, we talked about how he was able to add a new table to his database using the data transfer feature. Now, he wants to link the loaded table containing information about the TV series with the already existing table with the actor's names. Since all the relationships in his database are created through dictionary tables, he needs to add another table like this and create the keys. After that, he will be able to link the tables, actor, and series. Let's see how he can do this step by step. Lewis must first right-click on any free area of the diagram window and choose Create New Table. By selecting the table name and clicking on it, Lewis can enter the text he wants. Next, he needs to create two columns, Actor underscore ID and Series underscore ID. To do this, he right-clicks on the new table and goes to Create, Column. In the window that opens, he can set the name of the column select the data type, and configure the necessary parameters. Now, Lewis will make the added columns a key by going to Create, Constraint. The only thing left to do is to link the new table with the actor and series tables. To create a connection, Lewis needs to select a column in the dictionary table, drag and drop it to the particular column in the actor table, and confirm the foreign key creation in the window that opens. By repeating this action for the serial table, Lewis will successfully create a relationship between his entities. Please note that you can create a new database only based on the existing one. It cannot be done from scratch. After making all the necessary changes, our hero Lewis and you can apply them to the database by clicking on the Save button. You will see a window displaying a preview of the SQL script. After making sure that all changes are made correctly, click the Persist button. In addition, at this step, you can go to the SQL editor and add or remove some changes. The transaction mode you have chosen also works for the diagram editing mode. Therefore, if you have manual commit enabled, don't forget to apply your changes by clicking on the commit button on the top toolbar. 
Please note that any changes you make using edit mode will not be automatically applied to the metadata of tables opened in other tabs. You can use the refresh button to update the changes. If you edited the metadata in the properties tab of the data editor and in the diagram edit mode in parallel, the last save changes will be applied to the database. Our hero Lewis has successfully added the necessary elements to his scheme. We are going to tell you about other dBeaver's features that will come in handy for Lewis's work in the next videos. Thanks for watching.